All right, good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Welcome to Friday morning Pilates. Ah, it's going to be a nice day. It's been warm the last couple of days, but today it's going to be a little bit cooler. Get some plants in the ground. So, all right, let's go ahead and start taking a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And then let's take a lower back stretch this morning. Reaching up, both sit bones stay onto that mat. You don't want to lift, you want to have them right here. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and then reach forward. Grab onto that knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, and then reach the arm out, and over to the other side. Here we are, up, deep breath in, exhale, walk the hand out a little bit, deep breath in, and as you exhale, stretching forward, deep breath in, one more exhale, and up. All right, one foot forward, stretch. See if you can grab the toes. If not, just grabbing onto the knee. Let the head go. And then switching to the other side. Here we are, over. And stretch. All right, okay, coming up and let's take the feet apart. Sitting up tall. There it is. Ah, that feels like just enough stretch for me this morning. Let's see if we can twist and stretch over the leg. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good. And then bring the arm through and over. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale. All right, other side. Here we are. Switching over. Down. And then bring the arm through and over. Good. All right. Stretching to the front. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good. One more deep breath in. And exhale. See if you can get a little lower. All right. We'll come back to that at the end and it's, we'll be all the way down on the ground, right? All warmed up. Onto our backs and taking one leg up. Flex and point the foot. Flex and point. Let's make sure you can see me. Okay, good. And point, circling the ankle. Now bring the leg closer. Cross it over and bring it in. Rocking side to side. All right. And switch, other side. Flex and point, flex, point, and circle of the ankles. Okay, bring it closer. Deep breath in. Exhale as you cross it over and bring it in. Good, deep breath in, rocking side to side. All right, nice work on that. Let's do a back stretch quickly. Arms out to the side, take the legs over, and look over one side. Deep breath in, exhale, and other side, here we go. Bring it over. Deep breath in, exhale, back to the front, knees in, and let's start with the shoulders up, off the mat, good, deep breath in, and start with the single leg stretch, out, and extend, good, breathe, three, and four, Five and six. Good. If you need to support the head, put one hand behind 
Remember, you want to be looking straight up. You don't want the chin down here. You want to look straight up. Good. And extend. Good. One more each side. One. And two. All right. Bring it down. Rocking side to side. Taking an next stretch. Head over to one side. And then the other side. Good. All right. From here, let's take the hollow just coming up and down. Good. And up. If you need to support the head, keep the hands here and down. So this is different than the double leg stretch. On the double leg stretch, we keep the body up the whole time. On this one, the hollow or teaser, we're going up and down. Up and down. Good. Four more. One. Oh. Up. Two more. And last one. Okay, bring it down, rocking side to side. Nice work on that. Crisscross, hands behind the head, shoulders up off the mat, and twisting. Here we go. One, two. Make sure your head's looking up. You don't want to bring that chin down. Keep the head looking up, support the head. And extend. One, two. One, Two, breathe. Good, you got it. And breathe. Lower back stays pressed into the mat. Four more, here we are. Exhaling as you extend. And three, here's our last one. And four, Ooh. good. Bring it down. I know that tummy's getting warmed up. Here we are. Shoulders up off the mat. Feet are here. You're going to drop the knees, tap the toe, and bring it back up. Don't extend out. If you extend out, that lower back's going to come right up off the mat. So you want to just drop right here and up. Pull that belly button to the spine. Tummy strong. And up. Tap and up. If you can't tap, just do the motion. Maybe you just go right here. Drop and up. You're going to feel this. And up. Breathe. Good. Four more. And down. Two. Good. Three. You're feeling it right in here, right? And four, there it is, okay. Bringing it all the way down, toes up to the ceiling now. We're gonna work the inner obliques right in here. So now it's gonna drop down, but you're gonna tap the heel. When you do that, you're gonna feel this muscle right here, the inner oblique working. Pull the tummy in and pull it up. Hands to the side, tap, or you can put your hands on your inner obliques, lower abdomen and feel that working and up good down and up breathe and down up good up and down up keep going And two, we got it. Four more. And down. Three, two, three, last one. And four. Okay. Good job bringing those knees in. We're going to roll right up into the boat. 
Don't let the feet touch. Here we are bringing it up into your boat and oh, a little shaky this morning. Keep the hands here and rolling like a ball six times. Coming back and up. Don't let the feet touch. And two. Hearing a few cracks here in the back. This helps get it into alignment. Three. Three more. And two. Last one, we're gonna hold it. There we go. Down and up and hold. Breathe. Deep breath in and exhale. Oh, there's my little birds. They're here. I don't know if they've had their babies yet. They only seem to be working in the morning. In the afternoon, I don't see them much. There we go, deep breath in and exhale, drop those feet. Okay, from here, let's just roll down. Let the head go, roll down, keep those knees bent and then come back up. A little bit different than a roll up. We're just kind of oh, getting some movement, getting a good flow. Let yourself go, let the head drop, chin down to the chest and up. Let your head go down. Two more. Up. And down. Last one. Up. There you go. Let yourself go. And down. We're going to change it to the basic roll up. Take a stretch. Legs are straight. Roll up. There you are. Back is straight. Stretch over. And as we lower down, tummy in, no collapsing on this one. We're up and down. Point those toes, strong toes, strong feet, and stretch. And then roll down. Good. Keep moving. Exhale as you come up. Inhale here. And down. Inhale, exhale, over, down, last one, we're going to hold that stretch, there we are, up, stretching over, push those sit bones back if you want, point the toes, stretch, deep breath in, exhale, deep breath in, Exhale, toes are up. See if you can grab the toes and do flat back. Pushing in the smaller your back, you're gonna really feel that stretch across the back of the knees. And now whenever I do this stretch, I always think of this Ghirardelli hot fudge sundae that we get on the way out to the boat out in Stockton. <laughs> and it's in a Lathrop. There's a Ghirardelli factory. It's the best sundae, it's $10, but it's totally worth it. Uh, here we go. Hold. I don't know, for some reason when I do this stretch, that's what I think about. Arms up, twist over and deep breath in. Exhale, really feeling that stretch behind the knees. Also here in the lower back area, deep breath in. Exhale, other side up, twist over. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. One more in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, let's take a nice flow with that up. Twist, over, up, twist, up, twist, good. And last one. And over, all right, bringing it down to the mat. And let's go ahead and do leg circles this morning. Right leg up, you can either keep this knee bent, uh, which is gonna be easier, or if you straighten the leg, it's more difficult because you wanna keep those hip bones on the mat and we have to have a little more flexibility in here. 
Okay, so either way, going around in the circle. And as you're doing this, think of your tummy moving the leg. Just because I'm relaxed like this doesn't mean my tummy's relaxed. I've got my belly button pulled into my spine, my lower back pressed into the mat. And as I make this movement right here, my tummy's working all right in here, making that circle. And now reverse, other way. And two, around. And three, three, four. And six, two more, seven, eight. Good, relax, other side. Leg is up. This one's either bent or if you can, straighten it, starting with clockwise motion. And two, three, and four, five, six, seven, other way around one, three, and four, four more, and eight, okay, good, bringing it in, rocking side to side, Let's take both legs up and stretch open. And just hold here. If you can, grab underneath here. Flex and point the toes. Good. Kind of do a little pulsing, a little rocking. Just getting things loosened up. Deep breath in. Exhale. All right, bring those legs together, crisscross and open, and crisscross and open. Good. Three, and four, just go in for eight, five, breathe, in through the nose, out through the mouth, strong legs, control the movement, and eight, there we are, okay. Bringing it down, four bridges. Feet are here, right underneath you. Just relax the shoulders, don't let them come up to the ears. And just take a lift and see where you are. Feel, where are you in this movement? The ASIS bones are up, the tush is squeezed, the feet are parallel and weight is balanced on them. Shoulders are down, hold, deep breath in, exhale, all right, from here, taking it down, and then up, good, keep moving down, and up, squeeze, here we are down, and up, nice, down, and up, four more, do you find one side goes up a little higher than the other, or you're crooked, okay, kind of stay even, down, my right side sense, because my right glute's stronger, so sometimes I feel like I'm a little crooked here, here we go. Two more, and we're gonna hold it up on that last one. And down. Here we are, up and hold. Deep breath in. Exhale from here, release, squeeze, release, squeeze. There it is, and four, and release, and six, and seven, and eight, going for 32. Three and four, get a good rhythm going. And six, seven, and eight, 16 more. Really feeling those glutes work, isolating that muscle, the minimus in there. Eight more, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight. Good, bringing it down. Knees are in, rocking side to side. Okay, let's go ahead and come up and get ready for our plank sequence.
There we are. Okay, on to your hands and knees. We'll go into a child's pose first. Let's bring it down and stretch. Look over one shoulder and then the other shoulder. Good. Bringing it up into the downward dog. Curl those toes, get that hip up or those hips, right? Curl, we have two. Deep breath in, exhale. One more deep breath in and then alternate the heels down one at a time. Breathe. Seven and eight. All right. Holding it down. Deep breath in. From here, going into that plank. Right over shoulders, over the hands. And hold if you need to modify. You're here. Otherwise, here. And hold. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale, good, bring it down and rest. Okay, from here, we're gonna come right here, up, hold, down, and back. There it is, keep moving here. Come into that plank, really feeling your strength working. Now, if you're modifying, don't go into the plank. Just come here and hold here. Try, but you don't want to put a lot of pressure on your back. You don't want to be like this in your back straining, right? Otherwise, you get back into that plank. Hold, count to five. Damn, don't count fast. <laughs> Keep moving. Over. Hold, really feeling that body, the strength you have. Your body's like a two by four. Strong piece of wood. Strong up and down. And three more. Over. One, two, three, four, five. And down. Good. Here, hold. Last one. You got it. You're doing great. Over, hold. Four, five, and bring it down. All right. Nice job on that. Take a stretch. Let's do rainbow this morning. We're not gonna get any rain. We were supposed to get some rain on Monday, Tuesday. And it's not happening. Ah, oh, all right, here we are. Bring it here. If you're in modified, stay here. And you're gonna come over, this is regular, over. Bringing the hips over and down into your rainbow. If you're in your modified, you're here. Let your feet go with you. You gotta move, let the feet go. You can't hold them up and try to get the hips over. Let them go. So the whole body's moving here in your modified. And here. Breathe. And here. I'm kind of stuck in modified. So I'm going to stay here. I've really got my core engaged. And I'm over. Good. Breathe. And over. Pull that tummy in. Four more. One. Two. Kind of sliding a little. Three. And four. All right. Nice job. Bring it down. Let's take a stretch. Hold it here. Deep breath in. And exhale. Okay. Now is a good time to grab a drink. We're going to stand up. Grab your light weights if you want. And here we go. Coming up. And I'm gonna adjust my screen. Okay. Woo. 
Nice work. Go ahead. Let's roll the shoulders back. And take the head around. Ah, I heard a little crack there. And the other way. Good. Arms out to the side. Feet are wide. If you have your weights, hang on to those weights here. And we're going to take the plie squat down, up. Now, keeping that back perfectly straight, arms are holding the big exercise ball. You're not here. You're here. Straight up and down. The knees are over the toes, so don't turn the toes out and then have the knees come forward. I see that a lot. Your feet don't have to be that turned out. You want the knees to go right over those toes. And up. Whoops, keep moving. I'm seeing a message. Was there a message? Maybe that was Lorraine. Oh, Janet. All right. Okay. Let's keep moving. I'm seeing some chats. I thought it might be Lorraine because she's, I know she's leaving us early today. Keep going in your plie squat. Down and up. Let's go for four more. One and two. Either the arms are here or you can count them with the weights. You know what to do. You can do anything you want with those weights. And four. Okay, nice work. Now we're going to go into the regular squat. So remember on the regular squat, the feet are parallel. I have them a little bit wider than my hips. Now that might just be me because I don't have any hips. <laughs> I think my waist is bigger than my hips. So a little bit wider than my hips. The first movement is not this. It's not bending the knees. The first movement is hinging and sticking that tush out. That's your first movement. Then you lower yourself down. You keep the chest up and here, and you come up. Good. Okay. Down and up. That chest. You want the chest to stay up. You don't want to go like this. Okay. Keep that chest up as you're lowering down. The knees stay over the heels. And down. Up. If you want to do movement with your weights, you can do bicep curl, or you can just hold the weights here. It's up to you. Down and up. When I come up, when I'm here, I think about squeezing my tush. Squeeze. I feel that hamstring and glute connection. And up. Good. Down and up. You're doing great. Keep going. And three more. One, two, you got it. And three. Good. Let's go ahead and take a stretch. Reaching down, stretch over. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Good. I got a little bit of a bend in my knees. Now I'm going to straighten them. I'm going to soften them and let myself roll up. Okay. Taking that balance on one foot. I'm here. This is my working leg. It's supporting me here. Chest stays up. I'm hinging at the hip. I come down. Chest stays up. And then I bring this leg right into that passe. Arms up and hold tummy in. Keep moving. If you need to modify, I'll show you the other leg. Just bring this leg into passe and down. Remember, you want it attached. You don't want it just dangling there. Put it right in that socket in the knee, right? The arch of your foot, it's perfectly into the socket right there. And down, tummy's in, and this is your modification. Okay, otherwise you're down, chest is up. 
and pull that tummy in, up, good, keep moving, down, and up, breathe, and up, good, three more, keeping that balance strong, And oops, there goes my balance. You want to keep the head looking forward. Two. And last one. Ah, it's harder the more we move. And okay, good job. Stretch out that supporting leg. Reach it here and stretch. Okay, switching legs. Keeping the chest up. Tummy in, modify if you need to. And we're down. And up. Breathe. Down. Oh, this leg, I am not balancing well. And yeah, there we go. Pull that tummy in, find your balance. And Down and up. Three more. Let's go. One. Two. Oh. <laughs> Last one. And three. The body gets fatigued. And that's what you want. You want it to get a little fatigued, yeah? Get it working. Not too fatigued, but just a little bit. Okay, nice work on that. Let's go ahead and go up onto the toes. So I'm gonna put my heels together, tummy in, arms to the side. Again, side is here and not back here. The minute I bring it back there, I'm just using my shoulders and my rib cage is wide open. No, no, no. Okay, tummy in and bringing it up and down. Up and down. Good, breathe. Mm -hmm. Six. All right. Seven. Go for eight more. Coming up, hold that tummy in. Rib cage closed. Three and four. You're doing great. We've got four left. One. Squeeze that tush. Don't forget to use that tush. <laughs> Three. Last one. Four. Okay. Feet are parallel. Coming in strong, let's take it with the bicep curl up, down, breathe. You want to make sure that rib cage stays closed and that you're not arching back. You don't want to do this. Okay, then you want to come up right there and up. Good. Four more. Coming up. Strong glutes, strong legs. Two, three, and four. Okay, nice work. Let's stretch that out. Pushing heel down. And then to the other side, push the heel down. Stretching out that calf. All right, shoulders back. Let's go ahead and taking the arms over. My arms are in a 10 and a two, like I'm driving, or 11 and, what would it be? 
three, <laughs> I don't know, not too far apart, or you can clasp the hands. If you clasp them, it's going to be even harder, okay? And I'm going to bring it over, bring that leg up, and here, keeping that balance, slowly over and up. If you can't lift the knee, just bring it over and up. We're working that oblique. Over and up. Okay, so if you're not lifting the knee, and even if you are, make sure you're really pulling that tummy in as you go over, feeling this work, and here. If this one's not working as much, it's the outside one that's working more. And over, up, over, up. Four more. One. Two, breathe, three, last one, and four. Okay, nice job. So you notice if you clasp the hands, it is much more difficult. Other side, or the hands are here. And stretch, bringing it up and over. Up, over, tummy strong. And over, if you're modifying, you're just over. And here, good. I see some good modifiers there. And here. It's hard to get that leg up. <laughs> I'm just going to do it here. And up, up, and over. Keep moving. Four more. One. Two. You're doing great. Three, last one, and four. All right, nice job on that. Okay, we're gonna take it back into the lunge. So, what I want you to do, let me see how I can look, is the same arm up as the leg back. You need to keep the focus, the leg's gonna come back, I'm here, and then I'm gonna bring it through here, back, Keeping this knee, front knee, over the heel, coming straight and up. If you find that's too much, just stay here in your lunge. Just go down and up. Keep the hands on the hip. Because I don't want you to come back and you're doing this. See how my knee's way forward, right? When you come back, it's got to be straight up and down into this motion. Back straight up and down, and then lifting, okay? Keep moving, back and up, good. Down and up, three more. One, two, good, it's a hard one, and three. Right, which is why you really need to have your form. If you feel that you don't really have your form normally in the lunge, just stay in the lunge and do this one. Okay, other side. Ready, same leg back, arm up, and then we bring it here. And two. You need to stay in the lunge, you're here. And Four. Good. Otherwise, you're here. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Last one. Eight. All right. Nice job, Anya. Let's go for push ups. You can either do push ups on your mat, you can do them up against the wall. Remember, if you're up against the wall, you're here, arms, put them straight out in front of you, and then go here and here. You don't want to be up against the wall with your arms up like this or down. You want them straight out in front of you. Elbows to the side, push away. Good, elbows to the side. That's if you're up against the wall. If you're up against a piece of furniture, like me, or the back of your couch, you can, be a little bit more horizontal, bring it down, push it up. 
here and up. We're moving. Keeping the tummy strong and the back straight, pull the belly button in. You don't want to have any swooping in your back. Breathe. Down. Up. Breathing in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And breathe. And three more. And three. All right, nice job stretching it out a little. And let's take it back down to the mat if you're not there already in your push up. Otherwise, we're coming back down. There it is. Okay. Nice job on those push-ups, you guys. Let's do the tricep. Always the favorite. I'm here. Now, if you're gonna do the more advanced, you're gonna lift and then bend the elbows and push up. It's not this. <laughs> that stays up. I squeeze my tush the entire time. My SAS bones stay up and I come down, push up down, push up, otherwise I'm here. And then just come down and push up. Either way, you're gonna get a good workout in that tricep. So do whichever one you want. I'll stay down here. I really feel this one, like I get to number six and then I'm like, oh, I'm pushing up my body. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Don't forget to breathe. And out. Okay. All right. Four more. One. Two. Is three, last one, four. Okay, good job, stretch it out. Nice work on that today. Ah, let's go ahead and take it over for the side plank. Bringing the arm through. So you're either here, you're in a full side plank if you're gonna start in that side plank, or here is the easier with the hips down, a little bit harder is with the hips up, and an even harder is with one leg out with the hips up. Staying here, you want to twist the body through and open. If you wanna take a light weight, keep going, you can use your three pound weights and just bringing it, but it's not the arm, right? It's not this, it's my body moving, twisting and opening, see? My arm's just going because my body twisted. And open, breathe. And open, and in. Open, good. Open, breathe. And in. Three more. Let's go. I lost count, but we're moving. And two, swim. Three. All right. Nice job. Let's switch to the other side. over, land here, and bring it through, and open. You're either in a full side plank, or you're in a modified like me, or again, you can bring those hips up. Here, a little harder. Or here, right, whichever. 
If you have bad shoulders, don't go up. Stay here. Realize it puts a lot of strain on the shoulders when you're in that movement. Good. Three more. One. Two. You got it. Last one. All right. Let's go ahead and super girl, super guy, super cat it out. We have no cats this morning. I don't know. I don't know what they're up to. They're always so sneaky. Here we are. Coming up. Hold, squeeze, hold, count to three. One, two, three, and then come up, hold, squeeze. One, two, three, and down, and up, and down, and up. Good. Three more. One, other guy. Fly away. And two. Last one. Three. Oh, all right. Nice job. Let's stretch it out. Here's my little guy. Bring the foot through and pushing the hips down. There you are. And stretch. Deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhale, straighten the leg. Lift that toe. Try to keep that leg as straight as possible. Toe up to the ceiling. Okay, from here we'll go into that pigeon pose. Bring it down. Taking the foot forward. If you can't go into pigeon, just go back into lunge. And here, deep breath in. Exhale, stretch it down, hands come down. And then back up. All right. Switch legs. Here we are. On your hands and knees. Bring the foot through and stretch. Good. Hip down. Deep breath in. Exhale, straighten the leg and lift that toe. Another deep breath in. Exhale, one more deep breath in. Okay, go ahead and bend the knees, bring it into the pigeon pose. That pigeon, hold here. Deep breath in. Exhale, and then bring it down if you can, stretch. Deep breath in, don't forget to breathe. And exhale, okay, coming back up, stretch. Okay, let's come back with our legs apart. Sitting up tall, hopefully the stretch is a little bit easier than when we first started. Turn and face the leg and stretch down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Bring the arm through, over, stretch, reach. Deep breath. Exhale. Uh, one more. See if we can reach even further. Five. Turn, face the other way. Over, stretch. And then bring the arm through. Over, stretch. Nice, deep breath in. Exhale, okay, coming to the front. Don't let those knees turn in. You need to get further down than when we first started. Deep breath in. Exhale. And one more. A little further down. Maybe. Yeah. Deep breath in. Exhale. Okay. Come back up. And take the feet together or in a crisscross. Whichever is more comfortable for you. Make all crisscrosses. 
this morning. There we go. Take the head over. Stretch. And then other side. Stretch. And let's take the chin to the chest now. Stretch. Lift the head. Come down. Stretch. And then look up. Good. Smile. <laughs> All right, reach the arms up, open, stretch to the back, deep breath in, exhale, and give yourselves a hand. Nice job, everyone. Thanks for joining me. Have a really happy Easter. It's Easter weekend.